What are you up to? This celestial forest, lass. Will you take me? I fucking knew it. Just what do you hope to achieve? I need to know the truth, Missy. It's all I'm after. Please, will you help me? <sighs> Alright, I'll point you in the right direction. But then you're on your own. I have a speech to write. Thank you, darling. Let's just get on with it. Mr. Von Horn, an amazing turnout this evening. What does this event personally signify for you? Yes, incredible. It is a significant reminder to all that blood and sacrifice is the way of the world. Look how it brings us together and gives us meaning. The suffering and lives lost in battle are a sad but necessary element on the road to victory. Lockjaw, are you alright? Missy, what on God's green earth are you doing here? I was worried. You've been gone for hours. It's after six. The parade started. We'll go then. I cannot show my face in public again. No luck. I suppose you're dying to say I told you so. No, I'm not. I've been in your shoes, believe me, I know what you're feeling. I don't understand. I've been stood here like a muppet, talking to myself, begging for answers. What does it all mean? Am I doing something wrong? I came here myself many years back. I lost so many good friends, and for a time, 
I was curious to know who my real parents were. I wanted answers to everything. I didn't understand it at first either. Is it just a pack of lies? Am I not worthy? It does not make sense. It has to be real. What was so special about what's his face? Paddington. I think it's best you work this out for yourself, Lockjaw. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, save me the hassle and tell me, lass. Paddington never claimed to have conversed with the upper world. Others did. I could give you the answer, but I promise you it will mean so much more if you do this on your own. You just need time to think about it. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Look, I need to head back to deliver this speech. Will you come with me? Your Highness, where have you been? And what the devil are you wearing? Where is your royal attire? Aquatica, sorry I'm late. Missy, that's okay, sweetie. You missed a great show, though. You alright? Hmm. <laughs> Actually, I'm shitting myself. I'm not expecting the warmest reception. You will accompany me to the stage, and when it is my turn to speak, I will introduce you to the people. Mr. Von Horn, listen. I really don't think I'm the king you're looking for, man. What are you talking about now? I've been to the Celestial Forest, sir. You have spoken with the Lord Sovereign. What did he say? Nothing, sir. Not a word. But this is impossible. Our next speaker is head teacher with the Fuzzfield Center for Excellence. She served in our nation's armed forces on multiple occasions. Well, looks like I'm up. You'll be fine, don't worry. Please give a round of applause to Miss I've Got a Lovely Bunch of Coconuts. <laughs>